<laughs> Patty Spitler's here, brought to you by Great Day TV, along with Stewie, and we're talking about butterflies yeah. today, specifically the monarch butterfly, right. uh, endangered species now. That's the latest that I read. Now, again, I'm not an expert. I'm learning. I've learned about bees, now I'm learning about uh, monarch butterflies. But some say over the past few years, uh, especially going on from, from the 90s to now, we may have lost as much as over 90% of the monarch butterflies. That is insane to think about, 90%. And so th this butterfly is really known for being in northern United States, Canada. They do a long migration, right? Migration in September. And the other thing is you think, oh, they're just beautiful. No, they also, they're, they're pollinators. Mm. So we need them. And the other thing is we need to plant more milkweed because that's what the caterpillars eat to become the monarch butterfly. So I think the question remains then of what is going on. Why is it, why are they uh, depleting? Okay, again, I'm not an expert, but here's what I've learned from some experts. It's habitat. Uh, ruining the habitat. Mm. Uh, also, climate change has affected them, and then pesticides. So, uh, I do have a couple of experts coming up here now. Uh, we're going to take a look with our weekend gardener, Shannon Cagle, and also Joellen Meyer Sharp, the Hoosier gardener. And finally, we would like to wrap up with the status of monarch butterflies. It was so hot here, mm -hmm. and, you know, bees weren't active. I mean, there just was a lot of pollinators that weren't active because it was right. way too hot. So you don't really know what influence that might have had on anything. So, yeah, I mean, it's just worrisome, and I think people are good to not use, you know, insecticides in their gardens, you mm -hmm. know, to make sure that they're allowing all pollinators to mm -hmm. stay there. We need to take care of our monarch friends. We do need to take care of our monarch friends. So Wonderful. Yeah. Joellen, thanks as always oh, thank for your you. advice. We appreciate it. You're soapy welcome. water, Patty. Soapy water. And we'll learn about soapy water. That's what you need to get rid of some of the uh, bugs that you don't want in oh, your, your garden. Oh, a pesticide. Yeah, yes, yes. And we will have more on Great Day TV today at 10 o'clock, right after uh, Hannah. And Hannah's going to be on, too, Ooh. with the Scottish Rite Cathedral. The Bell Tower. Oh, my. It's a good one. You, that was a wonderful series. The I whole, it. you know, we looked at all those different treasures around Indianapolis. It was so much fun to do. I'm glad that you're featuring it. Marcus Collins did a great job shooting it as well, photographer. Back to the butterflies. Really quickly, though, people can get some milkweed seeds. You can go there. Again, make sure that they're local seeds. Uh, it's best to go local just to make sure. Uh, we put that up on there, a place you can go to get some. Also, uh, I'm going to get a real expert, <laughs> a in. butterfly expert to yes, come in and we'll interest. talk about it. I can't wait for it. Okay. All right. So All right. Great we'll day fly TV. away now. <laughs> At 10 o'clock right here on Saturdays after Wish TV. Then you can also get uh, Pet Pals TV after that at 1030. So stick around with us. Patty, thanks so much. Thank you. Stewie, thank you too. He likes butterflies too. Oh, I, we oh, all love butterflies. Oh, oh. I have one more thing. Oh, uh -oh. Did you know that when they first named the butterfly, they called them Flutterbys? And then they changed the name to butterflies. I like flutterbys. I like flutterbys too. You like flutterbys? <laughs> flutterbys? Tara, how about you? Oh, yeah, I mean, they do flutterbys.